Hey guys, hey Jesse, and welcome back to part 5 of the Streets of Rage. And now we go on to the boat level. Yes, you heard me. Boat level. Don't know what that has to do with Streets of Rage, but there you go. Boat. So, first of all, as you can see, we're just going to make our way along the boat. Fighting various enemies that we've fought before. Like this guy, you typical street fog, but now he's in dark green, meaning he's tougher than the light green variant. Hmm, sometimes they wield knives, but nothing different than what we fought before. Now let's talk about this level in particular, as this level introduces something that the game's going to start doing more and more of now, and that is the introduction of mini bosses, which are bosses that we have already fought. Yes. This level starts that, and the game keeps doing it. It's to show that the game is getting harder. Also, this level is a lot longer than any level we've been through so far. So, there'll be a lot to fight. And now we have a martial artist just appear on screen. There we go. I want that bat. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. I want the bat. Give me the bat. Doesn't want to give me the bat. Give me the bat. Give me the bat. Nice. And now for the easiest way to play through this level. I'll show you in a minute. Yep, pick up the bat. And walk. And swing. That's all you do. And it's so good having the bat with uh, Blaze. Because um, obviously Blaze is the character that has, you know, the uh, lowest score in strength, so you know it's good to have a bat. And now we're on to the uh, the um, the whip ladies. Are they are they supposed to be dominatrices? I'm not sure, but um, you know they're also in this level. And so are the guys that like to throw you. And they are throwing blades all over the place. But, taking care of business. So, why I just, you know, take care of some more enemies that I've already fought. Let's just talk about how good this music is. The Streets of Rage has an amazing soundtrack. It melts in the ears and makes Streets of Rage, especially 1 and 2, the definitive side-scrolling beat-em-up End of story. If you don't like it, well, that's your problem. But it is the best side-scrolling beat 'em up that there was. There was or is? Well, it still is, to be fair. Woohoo! Found some meat. That's good. Get some health back. And I'm pretty sure we are getting close to the first mini boss. And luckily I have the metal pipe, which I can use as a makeshift baseball bat, which means I can go back to just hitting things. And as you can see, the first mini boss is the wrestler. Now, the wrestler is, you know, pretty easy to fight when you can just stun lock him as I'm doing here. Now, unfortunately, with the mini bosses, they are mini bosses, so they don't get a health bar. So, you will just have to keep hitting him over and over until he goes down like that. Nice. Now, the enemy, the, or should I say, the boss of this level. is a very fast boss to fight. Now having Blaze for this boss is good. Having Adam for this boss is also good. Having Axel for this boss makes it very tricky. 
Not impossible, but trickier because it very much helps to have a good jump attack for the boss at the end of this level. And Axel doesn't have that. As far as jumping attack goes, he is the worst. So that makes it difficult for Axel. But I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying it's harder. But Oh health is low. I don't want to waste that extra special I just got. Nice. Oh, that is so little health left. I don't want to waste the special I just got out. You know, don't want to just lose it when I die, so do I just use it? That is the question. Well, I won't I. You'll find out. Baseball bat, nice. Hit, hit. Health, made it. Skills, what can I say? I was never worried. I got this. And now, just need to just keep using the mat and keep these enemies away. Keep my health nice and high. See, even the might of the juggler can't take on the baseball bat. Now it's boss time. And what is the boss of this level, I ask you ask? It's Blaze. You literally fight, you know, Blaze, but instead of wearing her red attire, she, she's wearing grey. That is literally the boss. It is Blaze. Two of them. Which is why it's good to have a character that is fast but also has a good jump attack because it is the best way to fight this boss. Also special attacks work well too but you know it's all about the jump kicks really. Especially in the later levels when you have to fight all the bosses again and you don't have any specials. So let's just use this other special up. Only one Blaze clone left. And there you go. Jump kicks. Yeah, if you get anywhere close to the Blaze Blaze clones, they just grab you and and then they've, they've got you. But there you go. Blaze clone down. And that guys is the end of part five. So I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in part 6. Hey guys, thanks for watching through to the end of the video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and if you want more Let's Plays, click on the links on screen.